It's Wednesday, my lovelies. And hopefully you all are having a wonderful week and will join me. I really need to start announcing when these will go live, but my schedule in my life is so absolutely hectic and crazy that it makes it almost impossible <laughs> to pinpoint a time down. <laughs> so I'm sorry that I don't really give you a whole lot of notification before I go live on Facebook, but hopefully you'll catch it. You'll have your notifications turned on and you can, you know, say hello when you get a chance because I usually check back and try to get back all of to all of the comments here. So I'm seeing some loves, I'm seeing some thumbs, and I'm seeing people coming on. Couple things before I jump into it so I can let a few more people jump on. We already have 170 viewers. Fantastico. I like saying fantastico. So this is Shoot 101, awesome publication. I got my copy at Walmart. If you have someone in your life that is new to shooting and wants to get some good uh, basic information, some how-to information and where to go, what to find, this magazine has a ton, a ton of stuff in it. And it just so happens to have a little article by yours truly and this awesome picture by Sean Utley. Look at that, guys. I look mean and intense. It's a intensity right there. Welcome to the Shooting World is that title page right there. And I go through an article in this particular, this issue, which is issue, it does not say what issue it is. It's the one on the newsstands right now. <laughs> But it has this lovely girl on the cover, and it also has a Federal Premium Syntec ad on the back, but really great resource out there. And I have an article in here about how to choose the right ammo for what you're looking for, because if you're new, sometimes walking into those gun shops or those big box stores like Bella's, you can get overwhelmed really easily. I get overwhelmed easily. It's like, whoa, what am I looking for here? So definitely check out Shoot 101. It uh, retails for $8.99, well worth the money. Check it out. And I think it's pretty cool. Very cool, right? Another thing I wanted to talk about, Range 365. I don't know if you remember, but back, I think it was June. I think it was in June, I did a bunch of filming with range365.com on a series of newbie tips. Again, more new shooter stuff because new shooters, bringing them into the fold, that is the future, guys. That is very, very important right now as we fight for our Second Amendment rights. Got to bring somebody new into the sports. And uh, yeah, they just launched the very first video and it is very cool. And the series is called shoot sweet and uh, the very first video is about how to see if a gun fits your hand because it's it can be really confusing and a lot of people think they know but it really comes down to how you grip the gun where you can get your finger on the trigger and all of that good stuff i will post a link but i've already shared it in my feed so please please check it out so main topic here as we're gonna go into this let's talk about dots Specifically, the Trijicon RMR, which I have right here. Isn't it lovely? I know I'm going to see some thumbs up and some likes and some hearts on this. So this week, I have been trying to figure out exactly what size dot I like the best for carry optics. Now, I have three. I have a 1 MOA, a 3.25 MOA, and a 6.5 MOA. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about my thinking going into this particular division and what I'm looking for. So if I'm shooting a uh, Bianchi cup or some sort of really precision based shooting sport, I really like a tiny dot. And that's because I wanna see that pinpoint brightness just show up on the target in the center of the target and I wanna be able to see everything very, very clearly. The bigger the dot at precision events, the harder it is to make sure that you're completely centered up in the middle. So I really like that pinpoint accuracy with a really tiny dot. So something like a one MOA or two MOA is really, really nice for those particular sports that speed isn't, you know, isn't that important. Yeah, in Bianchi you have some pretty quick time limits, but it is all about the precision. I mean, we're shooting out to 50 yards, right? That's far, right? Somebody agree with me. <laughs> but uh, yes, so then you have the other extreme. You have big dots. And the bigger the dot, the easier it is to see. And that is really cool, 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 
cool for speed oriented sports like steel challenge. I've even shot an 11 MOA dot at steel challenge in the past. Big. Because basically all you want to do is see red and white behind it and you're all good. So a large MOA, the larger the MOA, the bigger that big ball of red is going to be on your target. So then you have to decide what you want to do when it's a mix, when you want to be able to see everything super fast, but you still want to have that pinpoint accuracy. And so I've been playing with all three different sizes, the one, the 3.25, and the 6.5. And I've pretty much moved the one off to the side for now because I really, I really like the idea of having a big bright dot, as big a bright a dot as possible for those close targets and for really being able to see everything fast. And I'm gonna tell you right now, the RMR is so bright and so awesome that it's almost like, whoa, they're both, the 3.25 and the 6.5 are really cool. So right now I'm leaning for towards the 6.5, but I really need to play with it a little bit more, check some really tough kind of precision-based targets because, you know, sometimes you have to deal with, like at Area 7, you had this much of the head box available with a no-shoot underneath. That's precision. That was close, but you could very easily have something out to distance. So, when you're selecting a dot for your handgun, whether it's a carry gun or you're going to be shooting carry optics or you just want to put a dot, a, sl a slide-mounted dot on your gun, think about what kind of targets you're gonna be shooting and how quickly you're gonna to wanna to shoot them. So you wanna pay attention to the accuracy level of that target and then also the speed level. So if, you're, if you know you're only gonna be shooting fast, then go with a bigger dot. If you know you're gonna really need something that's gonna be super precise, go with a smaller dot. So that's a little tip for you. And I'm still wishy-washing trying to figure out what I like best because, you know, I can which is very good. Um, let's see, a couple questions here. John asks, what about those of us who have graduated to progressive lenses for seeing? Any thoughts about that? I'm concerned about spending that amount of money and I'm realizing that I can't adjust to it very well. So unfortunately, I have absolutely zero experience with glasses and needing to have corrective lenses. Thankfully, knock on wood, very thankful for that. Um, a lot of people that do have eye issues tend to go with bigger dots because they want to be able to see things very, very clearly. Um, the thing is, the thing that's really cool about a dot is that you can control the brightness, especially like on these RMRs. You can like click it down and so it can be that beautiful, just round ball of redness. Or you can really crank it up and it can be starburst it out for you. But it all depends on how your eyes see. Um, the best thing to do is see if you can go to your local gun shop and see if they have something side by side. I actually um, tried to take a picture that I'm going to post a little bit later of what the dots look like lined up against my wall. Again, not super accurate because it doesn't really kind of duplicate what you see as a shooter, but maybe that'll give you some, some feedback and some idea. I set them all on the same setting down from the, the I think it was five pushes down. <laughs> from the highest setting. I know it's very technical. Maybe that will be helpful for you. I don't know. I hope so. I hope so. Um, let's see, just picked up a shiny new Smith & Wesson 640 Pro with dots, Jean. Awesome, that's what I love to hear. So anyway, um, that is my quick little What's Up Wednesday for this week. Lots of exciting things coming on and uh, I hope to share them with you. Next week, I will be traveling to the USPSA Area 3 Championship. I am signed up for uh, production, I think, but I'm hoping that there will be enough people in Carry Optics so that I can shoot that as well. So I'm getting everything ready and I am making that tough choice on what size dot I want to use because it's important. Um, let's see. Um, I'll answer a few more questions here. Buying our daughter a new Cricut with scope and Woodstock for $150, picking it up for her on Friday. Boom! I love it. That's what I'm talking about, guys. You know, I just finished filming Love It First Shot, the second session of training that I had with these three girls, new shooters. We all, we need to bring new shooters into the fold because we need to demystify guns. We need to talk about gun safety. We need to have the conversations. We need to talk 
in a way that isn't so rah-rah, we need to show them. We need to show them how fun shooting is. We need to show them how useful it is. It's a life skill. It's a life skill. Um, very, very important to have, whether you're providing for your family and you're hunting, whether you're protecting yourself or your family, or you're just having fun on the range, it doesn't matter. It's all, all good stuff. So definitely, and hats off, I always had a soft spot for dads and daughters on the range because that's how I got my start. So good luck to you guys. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. You're cool. Thanks, Jill. I appreciate that. So yes, I'm going to wrap up today because I have a million things to do. I, oh my gosh, I, I this is crazy, right? Okay, so I've done a, quite a bit of running in my lifetime. Um, usually not intentionally. I'm not a runner. I don't like it. I don't enjoy it. But... I'm running my first 5K race this weekend. Crazy, right? It's for a good cause. I can't remember what it was for, but my friend Tisma is coming into town and we're gonna have a fun time running a 5K. So, wish me luck. Um, I don't think we're gonna be running very fast, but it's cool and it raises money for a charity, right? Makes me think we need to do more of this. And speaking of charities, I'm gonna end, I'm gonna close here with some exciting news. Um, you guys know that I'm a strong supporter of a lot of military charities and veterans charities, but of course, one of them that is near and dear to my heart is Active Heroes. This is my team. If you want to join my team to raise money, I owe Active Heroes a bunch of money from Flagler Cup, the Yankee Cup, Area 7, Nationals? Both Nationals. Oh yes, I am about to make a huge contribution because I... I did not shoot the center every single time. Check out their hashtag aiming for zero. Really great stuff there. And uh, stay tuned for more information about that. So you guys have a great, great Wednesday. I am almost through with all of your comments. I am on like 1,692 of my birthday feed where y'all said happy birthday. There's like 2,600 comments of that, guys. You guys are awesome. And I'm going through them. I'm trying to catch up feverishly. But uh, hopefully I'll have that by this weekend. And you guys have a great one. Okay? Be safe and have fun.